Hi and welcome to Rochester. So Rochester is a town that's just 30 miles from London, taking what well, took me 40 minutes by train, and it's a town steeped in character and history. Today I want to visit Rochester Cathedral, which is behind me, as well as Rochester Castle, and just walk the lovely streets of Rochester. So I hope you can enjoy exploring this place with me. It's free to enter and it's open 10 till 4 on Monday till Saturday and then on Sunday it's open uh, 1 till 3. So I would definitely recommend if you are in Rochester. At the moment there's a peace dove display which has been there since the um, which has been there since February and it's basically 15,000 paper doves that are hanging from the ceiling of Rochester Cathedral um, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm in the Rochester Cathedral Gardens, which are absolutely beautiful. Here's the Rochester Cathedral from the outside. It's reportedly the second oldest cathedral in England, dating back to 605 when it was founded by St. Justice. The original cathedral was a lot smaller. It was about 13 meters by about five meters, I believe. Um, but over time, of course, it's grown in size. At the time, it was expected for the cathedral to form a, a school. And so the school that the cathedral formed, uh, the King's School, is thought to be the second oldest continuously run school in the world, which is quite impressive. So now we're heading to Rochester Castle, which is a marvel in itself. The 12th century stone keep is thought to be one of the best preserved in England and France. So the original castle in Rochester was built shortly after the 1066 conquest, the Norman conquest of England. Um, but after a rebellion in 1088, the first castle was abandoned. So although it may be a shell of a castle, as you can see, it truly is an amazing place to visit. So the stone keep behind me towers 34.5 meters from the ground. Okay, so now we're on the battlements of Rochester Castle, giving you a fantastic view. Rochester Castle did indeed come under attack, several times in fact, the first of which happened during the 1088 rebellion against William Rufus. This was because after William the Conqueror died, William Rufus, the third son of William, was pitted in a battle against Odo, who was the half-brother of William the Conqueror and supported the eldest son of William the Conqueror in becoming the successor. Another attack on this castle came during the Peasants' Revolt. However, arguably the most famous attack on this castle was between 1215 and 1217 during the Baron, Re Baron Revolt against King John. During this revolt, the Barons managed to successfully gain control of this castle. However, King John laid siege to the castle. After seven weeks of holding out in this castle, King John managed to successfully capture it back and he did this by first undermining the outer wall of the castle and then building a pit underneath this tower of the castle which has now been rebuilt. There he put some wooden stakes and used fat from pigs to ignite a fire which caused the collapse of that wall. However despite the fact that this wall had collapsed behind me 
The rebels in the castle managed to hold out for another two weeks before they finally were starved out into surrender. A Barnwell chronicler said of the siege that our age has not known a siege so hard pressed or strongly resisted. We can identify the tower that was brought down in the siege of 1215 by the fact that if you look at all the other towers around the keep, they were all a square shape. But the one that was brought down, the one that was brought down right behind me is a circular shape. That was because after it was brought down, when they rebuilt it, they realized that there was a weakness that was undermining it and causing the explosion that did bring it down. And so they realized that building a circular tower would have a stronger foundation and be less likely to be vulnerable to undermining than a square tower. Anyway, what a wonderful day here in Rochester. We visited the fantastic cathedral and then the wonderful, fascinating Rochester Castle. Now, let's just enjoy the wonderful town centre and the beautiful weather. Thank you for watching this video.